And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. All right, we got a second expedition to do here, a second trial for this expedition. Um, we got a perfect 7-0 run with the first one. We had an awesome deck. That was, was a lot of fun. Let's do another one. And this one, you know, we're basically doing this to try to get all the experience. If we get seven wins, we get 2,000 more experience. It just helps us build our collection um, for like actual like experience for... Um, you know, for like the XP for leveling up, but then the actual just experience experience is good. Also, you know, learning a lot of stuff about the card. So with this one, since we don't have, you know, if we don't seven win, it's okay. Cause we already got, we already locked in our seven win prize. We can be a little bit more experimental with this trial and maybe take some different stuff. So let's begin it. Let's see what we get. Cause I kind of want to, so I kind of want to go with something, you know, a little different that we haven't really done too much to you know kind of learn more and and because we're not really uh, we don't have the stress of needing to win five so we're not going to take garen so i know i know garen's garen's good i played a lot of garen garen's pretty good and you know just going elite tribal we've done that before we've gotten a seven win with elite tribal so i'm i'm pretty familiar with with that so I'm going to try one of the other two. We did make a Teemo deck before, but the Teemo deck was really fun. So I wouldn't mind building another Teemo deck. I have never played Yasuo before. I've never played Yasuo. So maybe we should do Yasuo because I've never played this card before. But I want to do, do one of these two. Teemo is fun. Uh, cause yeah, we, we did the other team. We got a five wins the last time we did Timo, but it was a lot of fun. T so Timo is a lot of fun. So I'm all for going Timo. So yeah, y'all vote on which one we want to do. Do we want to go the one we definitely know is fun? Uh, just put up basically what Timo does puts a whole bunch of poison puff caps, um, in your opponent's deck and you hope they draw cards with poison puff caps. Yasuo. We need to stun and recall stuff. I think I did have a Yasuo once. I think. Just in a random deck. Maybe I did. Yasuo is good, but you need Noxus. You really want to pair Yasuo with Noxus. Like 95% of the recall and stuns are Ionia and Noxus. Okay. Oh, that's what I did. One of the starter decks is Yasuo. Maybe I played it in that. Okay. Or like one of the trials has you. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe one of the, the very first things has that. All right, I'll check that out yet. Uh, I don't really like that seven thing yet. I'd rather just say like perfect somehow on it. I don't really like that seven thing. Okay, the tutorial has Yasuo in it. Okay. All right, so anyway, let's see. What are the votes? It looks like most people are voting for Yasuo. Okay, well, let's try it out. Something, something new. See, I played a little bit in there. So, okay, so we want to pair Yasuo with Noxus, you were saying, right? This is Noxus. So we want to pair with... But Draven... Ooh, I've never played Hecarim. I've never played this card. I've actually... I don't think I've ever really played Draven before either. Um, Let me go back real quick. Yeah, that was Cold War Kids. Yeah, basically, yeah, I, I have a label as Expedition 1 and 2, but it's like Trial 1, Trial 2. Our first trial, we're 7 0. We're now getting the cards to the second trial. <laughs> hey. 
hey, what's up, good brother? Yeah, I don't really understand too much about all of it either. But okay, but okay. Oh, hey, I just saw your message. You got this game in the starter runner the other day. You're really enjoying it. Awesome. Yeah, this is this game is really cool. Okay, so gosh, because we have like a random house spider in here. Give our other battling allies. Sorry, I know we're taking a while here for this for just picking some cards. Hecarim Bucket is way better cards, but the Draven Bucket lets you get Yasuo cards. Gotcha. So these are just way better cards, but we can try to get Yasuo cards with this. Let's try to get Yasuo cards. Let's just. Let's do it. Let's go Yasuo. Okay, so what are Yasuo cards? So we need Stun and Recall. Um, and Draven's just kind of whatever. I don't want to build a Draven deck, so we need Stun and Recall. So maybe this Will of Ionia. And the Inspiring... I mean, Inspiring Mentor is a good card for sure. So I think we just go with this middle one because we have this Recall thing. First one has a stun too. Oh, because this oh, because this is a three mana three two that stuns. Oh, okay. But then we get the brothers bond. Do, we're not really going to be a brothers bond deck, are we? I don't know. Maybe we are. Brothers bond give two allies plus two plus zero, and then this thing gives the other things plus one plus zero. This kind of goes wide. So what do y'all think with these two? I guess yeah. So I guess they're both kind of good. Looks like this the votes are split five and five. Yeah, we do get the we do get stun on a body. Like that sounds that is very appealing. That we get, you know, our stun recall, but we also get a creature, so we're playing to the board while we stun. That's very appealing. Inspiring Mentor is just an awesome one drop though. Which is also appealing. Hey Rankler, happy President's Day. All right, we're getting some more votes over here. Let's take the one drop. All right. Uh, Basilica Rider, Allegiance, Grammy plus one, plus one, and Overwhelm, Whirling Death. Whirling Death is strong. We have Attack, deal one to the enemy Nexus, and a Brother's Bond, or this Rekindler and Ravenous Butcher. We're not taking this last one. We're going to stick in... I like sticking in two regions, basically, always. I basically never go with the third region. Yeah, like in in this part with the draft, yeah, we can, yeah, we sometimes you can get three, four, you know, copies of of the cards. So yeah, we'll get duplicates. I guess I kind of want to take this one because it has the whirling death. And I don't love this Basilic Rider. I don't know, Brothers Bond could be just good. Maybe we should take the second one. What are y'all voting? Uh, we need more votes. Okay, yeah, now change change the perfect to a different color. You know, maybe like a, a silver and then like italicize it go with like the the second one with that or you know like the one with the check do the one with the check but then if you can change to like silver italicize it and then um maybe put it in the center so it's not you know center it also with the expedition if you do those three things I am, uh, yeah, I am taking just a little break from magic and trying something else. Man, these are just the same votes. All right, what do I want to take? I want to take, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the Whirling Death. We need to, I need to draft a little faster. Sorry. When you stun or recall a unit, grant me plus two plus zero. When I'm summoned, grant me plus one plus one for each unit you've stunned or recalled this game. Well, both of those seem to play perfectly with... Um, stunning and recalling a bunch of stuff. So I think we take, let's take that. Let's try to keep on our stun and recall theme. Anything say, say stun recall? 
We do have a Draven's biggest fan that puts Draven to the top of the deck. Recall. And a sparring student's pretty strong too. All right, here we go. Ooh, recalling like a mentor and stuff is pretty sweet. Perfect. We'll take that. So recall, recall. Do I, I already took a Will of Ionia earlier, didn't I? Yes, I did. Deal one to other allies. Grab me plus two plus zero if you have another Noxious. And then Fearsome and another Spooky Spider. All right, let's take the recalls. More spiders. Draw one for each five plus ally. Deal one to another ally to get deal one to an ally to give another ally plus two plus two. Create an exact copy of a card and inspiring mentor. I don't really like any of these buckets, but I guess the inspiring mentor is the card that I want the most because inspiring mentor works so well with the conspirator. So I'm gonna just take this last bucket. And oh, everybody voted for the last one too. So another inspiring mentor and a Minotaur Reckoner. Reckoner start of the round, stun the weakest enemy. That's a pretty nice bucket. Decimate. Nope, that's not as good. Sown seeds. Green glade. No. Yeah, we're just taking this first one. We got another inspiring mentor and a life blade. It's a pretty good bucket. A Battlecaster and a Hopeful. Meh. Or a Culling Strike and a Legion Drummer. I kind of want to just keep taking these Inspiring Mentors. You want eight Minotaurs? Okay, so like whenever Minotaur comes up, we want to take it. Um... Because our best starts are going to be Mentor on and target this thing and then play this and recall the Mentor. That's going to be our best starts. That's what we want like for one drop, two drop every game. And plus, Mentor works really well with these Life Blades also, make those things bigger. <clears throat> so we'll take that. All right, so another Conspirator and a River Shaper, Strike, Draw, Spell. That's good just because the Conspirator is so strong. Uh, another Will of Ionia and a Jeweled Protector. Or a Bacillus Grider and Intimidating Roar. Stun all enemies with four or less power. That card seems pretty good. But I don't really like the Rider that much. I'm going to take this first one. I'm going to take this Conspirator. Get more recall. You know, you can tell you can tell what my game plan is. Inspiring mentor into Navori Conspirator. Enlightened, I have plus four, plus four. Skilled snapper. Either a five two or a two five. Stun an enemy, give all allies plus two plus zero. Deal two to an enemy, then rally. So this is the one that has stun, but it's two five mana cards. I think I want to do this one, honestly. Because Highwayman, with all these inspiring mentors, Highwayman can be really good. You know, if you if you target this once, you get two two threes for two mana. Target it again, you get two three fours for two mana, and so on. And then the Green Glade Elder kind of just works with our other stuff. Green Glade Elder is a good card to pick up. I think I'm going to take this one. Yeah, I really like this this you know life steal that the life blade has, you know, basically life link that, that thing has. Grant an ally elusive. When I'm summoned, grant me plus one plus one for each unit you've stunned or recalled this game. Oh yeah, that thing. Um There we go. That's it, yeah. Thank you. That's it. Perfect. All right, sorry, let me upload this thumbnail real quick.
All right, perfect. Yep, y'all just made an awesome thumbnail for the for that video. Hopefully that is great. All right, so we got another conspirator and a twin disciples. Okay, I love conspirator. Twin disciples is is fine, perfectly fine. Um, or we have solitary monk recall all other allies and conspirator. Ooh, I want to do this one. Yeah, let's do that. All right, give a bear, give an ally barrier and life steal and Zephyr Sage. I don't really like Zephyr Sage. Legion Marauder. So Legion Marauder is great if you can get a whole bunch of them because you know you attack and now they're all four threes. You play, you attack with another one. Now they're all five fours and so on. But it'd be our first one. Vasilis Rider. Trifarian. This, these are all pretty average. I don't really like any of these, honestly. My curve's really low. I th I'm thinking maybe this first one. We can give something barrier and life steal. Like if we're making something pretty big with all these mentors, we can give it life steal to gain life and you know barrier to save it. And the sage is like six mana four four draw a card kind of. I do this one. All right, now we can do some trades. We can trade the River Shaper for a Wayfinder. This one's actually not that good because Mentor only triggers when you play it, so it doesn't, so it won't trigger for us. So that's actually not that good for us. We can trade the Battlecaster for a Legion Veteran whenever another ally survives damage. Granted, plus one, plus zero. That is an epic. But, or we can trade Deny for Fey Blade Twirler. Whenever you stun or recall a unit, grant me plus two, plus zero. And it has Quick Attack. That's pretty good, too. But I kind of like having the one Deny in the deck. I don't really like... I like having one Deny. Hmm. Is this trade worth it? Giving up Battlecaster for Veteran? I don't think so. I'm going to skip this trade. I'm going to skip it. Yeah, y'all just kind of voted for skip also. Okay. So what are we going to name our deck? Total Recall? That sounds like a good name for the deck, Total Recall. All right, well, let's get rid of five drop, six drop, and even four drop. We'll keep the Conspirator, but we need a one drop to go along with it. Perfect. I guess this Conspirator and the Monk don't work super well together. Maybe I should have targeted the Monk? Maybe I should have targeted, targeted the Monk. And then I wouldn't do anything turn two, but then turn three we'd play the monk, pick this back up, so then turn four I can play that and that. Wow, did you see that? Stay safe. I'll take it. Is my chat working? Y'all there? Okay, yeah. I kind of like close out of a different window, come back. All right, so let's just go straight to attacks with this thing. Strike quickly. Charged up and ready to go. Let's 
Hey, Poppy. Uh, let's see. Check out these moves. Hmm. That's pretty strong. You'll soon understand my method. Give this thing a barrier and life steal so it doesn't die. Left foot, left foot. Ah! Oh. No! Do, do, do. All right, five mana. Follow the wind. Watch your back. <laughs> it's all good to hear. I'll help. I'll help. Uh... Okay. So yeah, of course. Uh, yes, yeah, so you knew the game. So yeah, you know this is our life totals over here. You know, sixteen to sixteen. We have these things that, like these people that, these creatures that kind of flash like this. That means they have elu they have elusive, which is basically just like flying. So they have so this has flying, so it can't be blocked by these things. How this is doing that electricity thing? It has quick attack, which is basically just first strike, but it only works when you're attacking. So it's like a four three first strike. So they don't want to block with their creatures. So like we still have like the you know this thing has you know flying or elusive, but. The first strike doesn't work with blocking. Yeah, the interaction system's really cool. Alright, so summon two scrap scutters. I um Are you mine? So if I play the conspirator and Recall Yasuo. Then will Yasuo? Will no Yasuo may not be in play to River shape the land and give it life. Uh, deal two damage to something. Oh, I have to stun or recall an enemy. So oh, actually this doesn't even work. I have to stun or recall an enemy for Yasuo to do two damage to it. I think it's just a seven seven. I want to bounce that. There's always a way out. Seven seven's pretty big. Not seeing strength. Hmm. I guess this isn't great for me. You call that sneaky? What am I doing? I could have like won this. See, they're at eight. Hope you brought friends. I probably could have just won this already. All right, so I have seven mana. Swift and silent as the breeze. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, I I played this game pretty pretty rough, but we're we're good. <clears throat> so to play this, you have to unsummon your own thing. It's like like this, we have to unsummon all of our other creatures, and so we had to put this back. Now I gotta unsummon this. So doing all this, and I have like negate back. Like basically, I have negate man, and I have negate mana. So if they have a spell. I'm good as long as it's not a burst spell. There, there are burst spells which are like split second, which you can't interact with. So as long as it's a fast spell or a slow spell, that's fast. So I can negate that. And there we go. We've got nine in the air. It's a win. Yasuo. How how was I pronouncing it before? But it's Yasuo. Was that different? Shut up, phone. Mute. Do not disturb. Okay. Yasuo. Okay, so we got another Yasuo. And then we got a couple of stun stuff. That's this is just what we're gonna be taking, because that's like what our deck does. And then but these are some other options. Cause you know, after your first match, then you can you get another uh, champion and a couple more cards that we get to add to the deck. We're gonna do that. Get our extra stun stuff. And recall. You think I should have I should have I should have taken Darius because of Mina because of Mina. Ooh, I'm not sure. I I also kind of I went too quick then if I was supposed to take Darius. So we got a one drop. Let's replace this thing. Replace that. Hmm. Those are some of our weaker cards. Mina's the nine mana six five recall three enemies. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, that card's amazing. Cause yeah, it's just you just bounce the entire the opponent's entire board, and it's a six five. Yeah, yeah, we probably should have taken that. Cause yeah, that's auto win. Whoops. Yeah, probably should have taken that. Think you fast. Cute. So every time we stun or recall something, this just gets plus two, plus zero for good. It's not like plus two, plus zero until end of turn. It just keeps on adding on stats. But I don't have anything that stuns or recalls right now. They can have six mana worth of spells. They're just sitting back and just getting a bunch of spell mana. They have their three mana for turn and then three spell mana. Looks like they're playing some spells. Mystic shot do two damage. Mystic shot do two damage. All right, well we got two for one. That's fine. I can learn from watching you. Mono Piltover and Zahn. So yeah, they're Teemo and Heimerdinger. So yeah, this is a Heimerdinger deck. I've never. I don't think I've played against Heimerdinger. Heimer Dinger. Hopefully that's pronounced correctly. Puff Cap Peddler. I go where the road takes me. Are you the one with wind technique? Instead of playing Yasuo, 
I could have played the Conspirator, bounce the Mentor, play the Mentor to give Yasuo plus one plus one. Am I still not saying that right? So I just drew a random spell for free. It was basically zero mana draw a random spell. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm saying, right? Yasuo? I don't know, y'all. What's going on? They just use like one mana for something? Oh, Rummage. Okay, so they discard two, draw two. And they discarded two creatures. But he never gets any lighter. Thanks. Get me a sweet bun. Heightened the senses. They look very, um, very ready to just play as many spells as possible, and I'm okay. I'm okay with them killing my two two. So basically, I don't have. I could play like that one one. Don't have to worry about them playing like another creature in response, or a little afterwards. One damage to an enemy, draw two, and then Mystic Shot. Deal one to two enemies, draw one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it looks like they are kind of saving up for like a Heimer turn. Have a mushroom. Got a bunch Have of peddlers. Every spell is going to give me nine puff caps now. That's pretty scary. Pick a card in hand, shuffle four of them, exact copies into your deck. Well, just card disadvantage. Just put a bunch of new stuff into their library. Give me nine puff caps. Run away, bite. Whoa. Okay. How did that move go? Hmm. I know I'm trading a 3-2 elusive creature, but trading that off means that now they don't have a blocker for my 4-1. At least they don't right now. I'm also just not taking the damage. Ooh, three puff caps got me. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the hype. Okay. I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I may be putting... I'm putting too much emphasis on the middle syllable. Yasuo. Got it. Go with a 
road takes me. Aren't you the one with wind technique? You can only stun an attacking out enemy. Yasuo. I have to emphasize the ya. Okay. Yasuo. Yeah. Makes sense that things dying to Mystic Shot. I like that we got to trade there. We'll just bounce this 4-3. To get that out there, now we've recalled two things for our Legion General. So fearsome. Yud! Yasuo hype! <laughs> oh, if mushrooms oh, blocking is also attacking in this game? So, like, whenever it says something that's attacking, that means that they're just in combat? Is a leaf's only purpose to So I got 18 puff caps now. Yeah, that would be weird if it was. Nothing but Noxian might. Yeah. I don't think that thing's going to be triggering too often. Attack. What a mushroom hell. You went six and three. Good job, QQ. Very first expedition to start the game went six and three. That's awesome. Good job. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. <laughs> I'm a peddler, not a meddler. It is cool how just like all sorts of cards have voice lines, you know, like this common has a voice line and everything. It's not just, um, not just, you know, like the champions. You went 6-3 the first one also, Ian Ray. Awesome. But then 1-2 the second. Ooh. All right. Six out of six. We got 1,600 experience. Level that up. Our vault is fully leveled up. So tomorrow, whenever we get the vault, we're going to get our first vault. We're going to get three diamond chests in the first vault. And we also get a free expedition run with it also. All right, so we get to trade. We want to trade River Shaper for Legion Drummer. Maybe. That's actually probably an upgrade. A two mana, three, two that you can give your supported ally quick attack or just a 2-1 that whenever it strikes you draw a card and you know we get to do a cheaper thing or we can trade this Bacillus Rider which is not very good for a Jeweled Protector which is probably better that's that's probably a good trade too or Battlecaster for Sown Seeds nah we don't need to do that one um, so one of these first two I kind of like doing this one here, getting the Jeweled Protector. We can give something in our hand, plus three, plus three. Yeah, I think I like that one. The, the, I like this one, too. I like both of these trades. <laughs> so you had a Draven in play, and your opponent played a Teemo, and Draven said... What the blank is that? <laughs> wow. All right, let's see what, what Twitch chat says. I like both of those first two. What do they say? Twitch chat says... Ooh, everybody's voting the middle one. All right, let's do it. 
Because, yeah, that four drop's pretty weak. I love the voice line of Garen seeing another Garen, and they just yell, For Demacia! That is cool. I think the vault has to be at level 10 to get another token. To get an expedition token. All right, we got a Vengeance, an Arachnoid Horror. That's that's definitely a good card. This is this is definitely a good card that I need for like spider decks. And we got upgraded to a rare wild card. Sweet, and 194 shards. Good silver chest there. We're crushing it today. All right, two and zero. Okay, Minotaur can go. See you later. And then I'm going to just get rid of the Sparring Student, actually, too. Because we got the, our one drop, two drop that we want. I don't really need that other one drop. I'm attacking turn two. You'll thank me later. All right, I'm going to I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to do this like this where I target the 54 first. D for two. And then I don't play this cuz otherwise I just bounce it back to my hand, which I guess I could still have just played it and bounced it back to my hand. But I I'm basically just going to save the mana for spells and stuff instead. Um Oh, well, that card's pretty good. Yeah, you get one quest a day. Yep. And then if you, you know, like if you don't play a day, then like the, the next day you'll have two quests and so on. I think you can have up to three quests. When you first start your account, they give you like three quests, like the first like two days. But then after that, you get like one quest a day. Yeah, because the quests do give a lot of experience. So I guess the quests either give a thousand or fifteen hundred experience. So. Um, if you have a thousand experience quest, you can you can try to re-roll it and try to get a fifteen hundred. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Also, I'm always re-rolling the the uh, the fifteen hundreds, or I'm always rolling the thousands to try to get fifteen hundreds. All right, so I'm going to mentor. This thing, I could just go straight to attacks, but I'm gonna. I want to get this thing in play too to attack with this. Also, you can also bank up to two re rolls. Okay, so if you don't, you so you get like one. Is that how that? So do you get like one re roll a day? And so if you don't use a re roll, you get another one. Is that how that works? Okay. Hmm. My training is unconventional. So, you know, I could pump this up and get two two threes, but two two threes on this board, like facing Yasuo and stuff, doesn't really doesn't really do a lot for me. Maybe I should pump this thing up and make this a five five. They use some really big flyers though. A five four and a four three. Pretty big. Master. All right, 
right, so they just jumped. If you're new to this game, also the the creatures don't heal at you know like how in, in Magic at the next turn, you know they the damage wears off, whatever damage is on them, the damage stays on always. But now this is going to be a five two, unless you know like a bounce it or moves or anything like that. Yeah, unless you're Garen, there, there's some things that have regeneration. Yes, there's a regenerate mechanic. Everything's better with company. Says you. Tough road. Keep each other safe. No, you. Yes, yeah, so you can attack with however many units you want, but the support thing is, they support whoever is to the right of them. Whenever you put them out on the battlefield, so you have to put the su the support thing on the left, and then what you want supported on the right. Um. So I have seven mana total. This allows me to still do the barrier life steal thing. Um <laughs> don't want any trouble. Hey buddy, what you doing? So block in here because then it's probably forced them to act first. And then I have this as protection. Plus zero, plus one, and quick attack. And now I'll barrier life steal this. Hopefully, no more tricks. So got their flyer out of here. Someone so you got struck with a spinning axe twice, and then this flips, and what? It's a so it level up, and then what? Oh, it then it has overwhelm, also. Okay. All right, so I have, a, I have a pretty good plan for next turn. These are dangerous. Oh, that makes my plan worse. That card's good. Ooh, speaking of good cards. Hmm. Kinda. It's you know if I play this, they get to play another creature. That could be bad for me to give them that opportunity. The here yeah, me. yeah, it didn't. It didn't exactly help me. Uh, 
sleep all day. I said fear. Hold up. Nice. They use their instant first. Recall a unit. Well, I can have this unit kill the 2 1. So I can keep my 5 2 alive. Come out and play. <clears throat> And then these are going to trade. Wait, why did it take two damage? Oh, because it was recalled. Right. Um... Get me a sweet bun. Titans the senses. No, I couldn't say it. Like, the axes give, give allies plus one, plus zero. So doing, you know, like, that doesn't raise the toughness. It's not plus one, plus one. So I don't think I could have saved. I face my fate. Two strikes from level. Um... So what if I would have if I would have used I'm not exactly sure honestly how that would work, so I'll just take the four. So if I would have used, I don't really know how that works. Multiple axes don't count extra. Okay, so you would have just got one strike with an axe. Okay. So you can't put you can't put two axes on the same thing and then that counts as two strikes with an axe. It only counts as one. I need he asks, not knowing the answer. I alone decide my fate. Grant this thing elusive this round. Hmm. Yeah, just kind of happens. So they put a 3-2 in its spot. My training is unconventional. will kneel before Noxus. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Do, do, do. All right, let's just bank the mana. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So I can stun an attacking enemy. The order rewards the faithful. So stunning that is going to make this fearsome general even bigger. Hey, Marshmallow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying a different game for a little while. All right, so they're going to deny that skill. Yeah, I'm just trying a different game for a while. Um, this game is honestly really, really good, this Legends of Terra game. The world 
world waits, begging for dominion. Alright, well we're just going to go to attacks. And we're going to attack out. We have, we can only have six people out here. These seven sevens are fearsome? Okay, yeah. They can only block with creatures power three or greater, so they only had Yasuo's. Yasuo. As the only person that can block. But we are three and oh. Okay, working on a Teemo deck. Nice. Yeah, of course, Marshmallow. Um, I don't really have a, a schedule right. Right now, I'm just playing Runeterra and just giving it a real shot and just trying it out right now. So... Right now, just, just playing Runeterra for right now. Um, all right, so we can get another Yasuo. Or Yasuo. Um, so it'd be a third one of those, and we get a Trifarian, Glory Seeker, and a Yone. Both, like, these are, these are pretty awesome. It's gonna be hard to beat these placed on two enemies. Draven, the spider thing. Fast. Stun an enemy, give all allies plus two, plus zero. That's not bad. But then Darius. Okay, so Darius also has Yon and has Minotaur Reckoner. Ooh. That is some beef. These are some great cards at the top end, but it's two sixes and a seven. Those. That's, a, that's some expensive cards, but those are good, expensive cards. Yeah, Minotaur and Yone. That's hard to pass up. So, all right. So, either way, we get Yone. So, we're getting Yone. And then do we want... So, do we want third Yasuo, Yasuo and a Trifarian Glory Seeker? Very good cards. Or do we want a Darius and a Minotaur Reckoner? It is kind of rough getting 667 if you kind of look at our current... Like, we have... We have right now what one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six fours, three fives, three sixes. So then we would turn that into five sixes and a seven. That's just kind of tough on the curve. If I could like take this and then get rid of like these Zephyr Sages and get cheaper cards instead of the Zephyr Sages, like these are really powerful though. Hmm. Yeah, the Minotaur is awesome, though. Yeah, Minotaur is definitely one of the best cards that we could get. But, of course, Yasuo is one of the best cards you can get with Yasuo also. I'm going to get I'm going to get this one. Minotaur and Darius are just too powerful. I'm, let's get the power. Let's get the top end. Let's do it. Let's go. Not right now, Butters. Not right now. How do you vote? Like whenever, whenever it comes up again, like there's, there's a vote button next to all three of them. They all have a vote button next to them. One for each crab I saw they get to choose whichever one do you think I should take. D Attack. Two. So Yon was Yasuo's brother. Yas Yasuo was falsely accused of a crime and they made him kill his brother as a punishment. What? What kind of punishment is that? Why, why, why would they not just kill him? 
Anyway, later the true criminal was discovered, but the deed was done. Wow. That is awful. Yoni. It's pronounced Yoni. Swift and silent as the breeze. Yone? Yone. I have the best job. Fast as wind, light as air. It is basically impossible to block Draven. Because you block, then they just put spinning axe at, you know, like basically just discard a card to give it plus one plus zero. No, I haven't played Team Fight Tactics. But no, I haven't. Huh. So this would strike first, and then they get two of these. They could double strike, but then I can recall. As fate wills. That's a blowout. So they're trying to have their 4-3 strike my 5-4 after they discarded a card. Okay. Well, they still have bounce that, but then they still use this here. They still just use a ton of cards to get rid of that card. They used a ton of cards there. Um, how does Come closer. Prime sub on mobile? Not sure. Try. If anybody, if anybody can help, knock, knock, uh, cast in, please do. But maybe try click that link, and maybe in mobile you can click that link, and it'll come up. I am not sure about that. That's a lease. Three six challenger. That card's good. But we're just gonna get our elusive cards out here. They played both of these this turn. I guess they they must have played the elise the turn before. Stay safe. Strike quickly. So we got eight in the air. Put him down to six. That's a pretty strong combo here. Time for the main event. All right, so they got another one of those. So I can. I mean, obviously, playing a six drop is like what I should be doing. But honestly, I just want to play this and stun the challenger. Even though I'm just kind of wasting a lot of mana. I'm hoping these four threes just carry the day. Do 
I even cast... Do I even cast, like, Darius pre-combat? Yeah, Darius is going to be a... Would be 10 power trample. Or do I just go to attacks? I think we just go to attacks. Opponent surrendered! It's weird you're not playing the 10 power trample haste pre-combat because it opens up the possibility of something bad happening. That's why this game is pretty cool. So much, so many decisions, like every single turn, everything, to, everything to do. We're eleven zero on the day. Four zero. All right, I can trade Zephyr Sage for Usari. I'm all about that trade. I want to get rid of another six drop. I have too many six drops, so I like that trade. We could trade a Battlecaster for another Yone. Yone. Yone is much more powerful, but it puts another 7 drop into my deck. But Yone is so busted. So good. But we saw like we saw that last game. Like, you know, we didn't even get to 7 really. Or we could trade a Steel Tempest for this thing. Stun all enemies with power four with four or less power. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just do this first one. I like all the trades, honestly. I kind of like them all. Yeah, I kind of like all those trades, but I'm just going to do the lower the curve trade. All right, we got four wins. Get another seven win run. Okay, I think that lore that we talked about was a bit different from release, or either was revised. Yasuo was the guardian of a village elder, enduring an attack by Noxon forces in the village. He left his post defending the elder because he was eager to fight. Uh, I probably need to do this. But the elder was killed by a user of wind skills, and Yasuo was sentenced to death. Ionia sent their best warriors, but Yasuo struck down each of them. The last one they sent to kill Yasuo was Yone, his brother, who Yasuo killed. Hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's a little bit different lore. Uh, anyway, Nalkastin, Twitch Prime sub. Love how everybody's got their hype votes in the chat. Thank you, Nalkastin. Rochi and I did move. Yep, I'm at the new house. I absolutely love the house. It is. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. You. There we go. Turned on the laptop for the sub. That is, that's dedication. Thank you so much for doing that. Now, going to sleep. All right, thank, thank you, Kasten. I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's right, Rex. Yeah, we did one day at, in Arena. Yeah, we were 19-0, and then we lost the last one. We were playing 20 matches that day. We went 19-1. and won. It's harder to do in Magic because of just the games with, like, Mana Screw and Mana Flood and stuff like that. That you don't have here. Deal two damage to something. Okay. Ow. Ow. Could put that back in my hand. I kind of want to do that. No, we just do this. You'll thank me later. Because they probably have another one of those deal two damage to something. And so they would just do three damage to my other three, two. Hmm. 
Hmm. Death is like the wind, always by my side. <clears throat> so I could, of course, just not play this and just go straight to attacks. But, yep, works out. They just play a 3-3. Unless they give, like, the 3-3, you know, some... They could give it, like, a barrier or something, which they may do. No, she just has a chump blocker. So it worked out. I want to pop up this life steal thing for sure. <laughs> Rex says, but while playing this, I haven't gotten to complain about the shuffler. I don't like it. <laughs> so the thing is, the crime that what was that someone murdered Yasuo's master and the true criminal was Yone, and this was revealed to Yasuo after he dealt the killing blow in self-defense. And it is intense. Understand my method. Oh, it was Riven. I don't know. Oh, no, deal two to all units. Okay, well, um. So I could give this a barrier to keep it alive. Yeah, that's worth it. Thanks, Parsha. Yeah, I'm going to be changing my stream title to this pretty soon. Go to attacks. Do they got spells? The time is right. Strike now. They do have spells. All right, they can stay alive. Hmm. I mean, they were definitely just going to have spells, right? I probably should have just played this other thing, too. You'll thank me later. <laughs> they were definitely just going to have spells. I should have just done this pre-combat. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Yeah, I should have. Avarosin, stand together. Nope. You must target an enemy unit. That's what I'm doing. Targeting them. I have come for the unforgiven. They're stunned. No attacking. Okay, they got 11 mana. Basically, do I play this thing or not? I'm going to say not this time. Strike quickly. No backing down. Hmm, it's interesting block. I thought they were going to like trade 6-6s. Six I guess they they could have traded and then traded both across, but they would rather just kill their Ash. Yeah, you know, they just trade my their ash for my one one, basically. But then they still have this. Time for a 
put this back in my hand. So now we got two Yones. Yones. Is this thing going to be a 5-mana 9-9 nine nine Fearsome? That's pretty big. Alright, you got me for 6. Down to 14. My war host awaits. Discard the top five cards of your deck to deal one to all enemies for each spell discarded. Oh my gosh. How many spells? Two spells that does two damage to the top of stuff? Dang. That's pretty good. Um, I guess we play this thing. Oh, and it hits my Nexus too. Hey, what's up, Lean Black? The new place is awesome. I'm loving it. Alright, let's play this. Stun the enemies. Okay, they're going progress the day, draw three, and then all those spells cost one less and they surrender boom five and oh let's go yasuo awesome all right we can trade another zephyr sage for a sparring student I don't mind that. We can trade a River Shaper for a Will of Ionia. I don't mind that either. Or we can trade a Jeweled Protector for a Yone. I don't mind that either. I like all these trades. So which one do we want to do? I feel like maybe, I feel like probably not the first one because the other two I think are just better trades. So y'all can vote. Um, probably getting another Yone. Yone is just super powerful. And it's like we're, we're trading a five drop anyway. A five drop that's pretty meh. And the votes are even across the board right now. And skip the trade, it's the same. It's just all even. So on the screen, it should say, like if you max, you know, it should say like vote, vote, vote. One of these. Recall units not, you know, like, this isn't bad at all. You know, like, it's unsummon, but, you know, four mana unsummon. This creature's not very good. And, of course, the the recall is good with uh, Yasuo. I think, yeah, let's do this last one, though. Let's get Yone. All right, Yone's pulling ahead. Let's do that. <clears throat> All right, five wins, two more. Mm, this is gonna be a good deck that we're playing against. six drops. I'll be surprised if we win this one. My hand is not good. And then a seven drop. Think you're fast? Try to keep up. This rabbit can do some work for us. Is, is this a rabbit? Old masks let young eyes see clearly. Looks like a rabbit. 
So each time we stun or recall anything, it gets plus two plus zero for good. Always two steps ahead. So you know we're gonna stun that thing and now this is a three three. Spider is a pretty good draw. You sorry. Yeah. I expect their two three to block my three two. That makes sense. Defiant resist. Ooh. Nope. Is this supposed Ooh. to be a challenge? Alright, they're willing just to trade. I'll trade with Fiora. Plus three, plus zero, and a barrier. Well, I'm gonna bounce that. It doesn't do the damage though. Does the damage doesn't go through because it was blocked? It's a Yordle. Gotcha. It's a Yordle. So basically... <clears throat> so basically a rabbit. A Yordle rabbit. Well, now Fiora is a 4-4. You know, with the Challenger, they, they tell me who blocks Fiora, so that means they can have, they can just have my 3-2 block, you know, so they get to just kill it. That's why it's good. Um, you laugh. They can, they can take... Well, they can't play Fiora this turn now, but... Um, so I can basically kill any of these things or do 5 damage to them, because this is flying. If I take this, then I get to attack with this thing also. Not you. We'll do that. And I, of course, like the 3-2 trading with the 2-3 instead of um, just getting killed. I think they probably should have played Fiora and done the Challenger stuff instead of playing this 2-5 last time. Sure. Whoa, wait, what? What is going on? Oh. Oh, that's just the eye of what's going to happen. I thought stuff was happening. Half rabbit, half bee. All right, now we'll play the Reckoner. Swift and silent as the breeze. That they don't know about. So beginning of the round, we stun the weakest enemy. That 4-3 elusive is now stunned. Can't believe that I did that. Alright, so I can bounce the 1-1, one, one, replay the 1-1, one, one, play this thing. I don't have the space to do all that. Actually, I guess I don't have that much space in hand. I'm going to just make another Yone. No, skip it. Yeah, this game's awesome. Yeah, this game's really good. 
you can say this match is stunning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stun these two. Dude, this rabbit bee is getting out of hand. No, they had to deny. So I did not stun their, their stuff. I'll show you how it's done. Hmm. So I can I can have anything block my five two flyer, but normally they wouldn't. Oh, that thing has elusive anyway. So yeah, they can just block that anyway. So yeah, let's just let's just take that. And now they don't really have good blocks on anything else. I guess I should have just I should just be swinging in with the one one, right? Because if they if they block the one one, they block the nine. They're taking sixteen. So they are chump blocking the two. Yeah, so it was a free attack with the one one. Ooh, that's a good good card, so they got to just fight there. That was good. Oh, this thing was already stunned because of the Minotaur. That's right. I already forgot about the Minotaur stunning stuff. Alright, I'm not going to play the 1-1, one, because one, you can only have six, six units in play. So if I play it, it's my last unit, but I want to play Yone. I fight for that's how I'm supposed to pronounce it. I heard him say it. Yasuo. Wait, can I? Oh, can I play this and then I can recall an ally? Sweet. Dude, this thing's a 17-3. <laughs> oh, that's silly. What are you? You're a 5-5? When I was someone grant me lifesteal and tough if an ally died this round, which they did not, so. Alright, what? So this thing can drag something to it? So we can drag... I guess this 5-2 is unblockable right now, but I think I just want to... I'll drag the 5-5 five five over to it. Even though it's unblockable? Sounds like a weird drag. Alright, not dragging. Yeah, the changes that's about to happen. Um, what's what's that called? Yeah, patch. There you go. Thanks. Thanks, high tech. So there's the link there. Sharp blade, sharp mind. There's not even blocking my nineteen three. Oh no. Does that mean I die? Does this mean I lose? Ooh, don't lose. Wow. If if that creature that my opponent had, if it would kill if it would have killed four creatures, I would have lost. It killed three creatures. It did kill the fourth creature, but it didn't survive. But obviously I'm in big trouble now. Alright, so I need to give that thing 
I need to pump up this thing. That was crazy. You'll thank me later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we still have like lethal next turn. Yeah, I've never played League of Legends either, but yeah, the banter of the characters is really cool. I agree with that. gonna you know like so this thing has the challenger says that you got a block and I'm like no you're stunned you ain't attacking you pay, I fight. summon a random five drop okay that's not gonna do it There's that's not gonna do it They can still draw. Opponent surrendered. They say they could draw some kind of spell. Some kind of instant. Oh man, back to the final boss. Back to the final boss. Six and O. Oh. All right. So before the final boss, we get seven trades that we can do. Ooh, we can trade a Draven for a Yasuo. 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 Um, I don't want to do the middle one. I don't want to do that one either. So it's just this one. Do we want to trade Draven for Yasuo? And I guess the answer is yes, right? Like we just ra would rather have Yasuo in our deck. And then we could trade Darius for Zed? Oh, man. I kind of want to do that. Let's see. Otherwise, we could trade Highwayman for Shadow Shift eh, or Monk for Roar. No. I kind of want to do this one. Well, let's see. I have... So if we get rid of Darius, I still have five six-plus mana cards. Yeah, I think we get... Zed. And Zed seems super good with with all of these inspiring mentors also pumping up Zed. That seems just awesome. All right, so we can get rid of a Sage for a Stand United. Swap two allies, give them barrier. Um, what's up, Baloney Pony? Just picked up this game this morning before work. Having fun so far. That's awesome. Um, I jumped into the expeditions the second day. Yeah, because we just started this. I think this is this is my fourth day streaming it now, and this is yeah, this is my third day in a row expedition. So the first day I didn't, but then the second day, second, third, and fourth days I've been doing the expeditions. And that second day we got both of our expeditions were seven wins, and then yesterday we did six and five, and today we're seven six. So. So yeah, I'm liking them. All right, so Battlecaster or Roar? Probably want this Roar. I don't know. That thing's slow. Hmm. Y'all can help vote on this one. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Voting is 2-3-2-3. Two, 2-3-2-3. Three, two, three. Two, three, two, three. All right, so swap two allies, give them barrier. That can be very powerful. Maybe we just keep the Sage, though, but Battlecaster doesn't really go with our... It, it's fine. It's not bad. 
When I'm summoned, give other allies plus two, plus two. I mean, maybe this last one, like River Shaper. So I just got rid of a six drop with Darius. So I can probably get rid of the three drop and get the seven drop. The seven drop's a lot more powerful than this River. This River Shaper is not very good. It's definitely one of our like very worst three drops. And as you can tell, we have tons of threes. I think I'm going to do this last one. All right, Refuge, trade that for Usari. No, I like the Refuge. Trade the Sentry for Reckoner. Oh, man. Reckoner is just awesome, but I love... I, the Sentry has been really good for us. And no, I don't think I can do that. And I, I don't like getting rid of the one Deny. I like having access to one Deny also. Even though Green Blade Duo gives us another elusive card. And we got a lot of elusives. And Green Glade, man, Green Glade Duo does work really well with like Inspiring Mentor. Hmm. And it also works well with like this recall stuff because we play more creatures because we keep recalling and replaying creatures and we keep getting the bonus. Hmm. So can I get rid of the one deny? I think I can. All right, we're going to do that. All right, next we can get rid of a Steel Tempest to stun an enemy for an Empyreon. Nah. Get rid of the Monk for a Shadow... Silent Shadow Spear. What is this? 3-1... What, what is this card? This is an epic card. 3-1 Elusive... Oh, it's Ephemeral. That's, that's what. And then Nexus Strike, create a copy of you in hand. Interesting. That's interesting. The Solitary Monk's been very good for us, though. We can trade the Life Blade away for a Shadow Assassin. Hmm. I'm not going to do the first trade. I'm not doing that. I could see doing this last one. So would I rather... So basically, would you rather have four mana... 2-3 flyer with lifelink or a 3 mana 2-2 two, two flyer with draw a card ETB draw a card and I think I like the, the other one it costs one less and it has ETB draw a card Everybody, everybody's voted just skip the trade you think the life gain comes in handy? I've, I haven't used the life gain a single time this entire time And my four drop slot is just filled with y Yasuo that I want to to play there. And Shadow Assassin, I'm gonna go with the Shadow Assassin. ETB draw card is another good thing to bounce. You know, like we have all these things that bounce. You wanna bounce like an ETB draw card thing? Let's go with that. All right, next we can trade House Spider for Trifarian Shield Breaker, maybe. Trade Whirling Death for another Yone. We already got a couple Yones. I like having this instant speed interaction. Or we can trade a Sparring Student for a Green Glade Duo. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, let's get another Green Glade Duo. Sparring Student isn't, isn't anything special. I'm thinking this one. Yep, everybody's voting for this one. We're, we've turned into a very elusive deck. All right, trade Zephyr Sage for Arachnoid Sentry. Ooh, I like that. I like that trade. Battlecaster for Protector, no. Highwayman for Glory Seeker. I like that trade too. But I think I want to do this one. I want to get the Sentry, get the stun with all of our stun stuff. Yeah. Okay, final battle. Here we go, final boss. Sorry, Black Crows. Got to go over to final boss playlist. Down, down, down.
All right, final boss time. Yep, constructed is after this. Yep. Our constructed deck that we have right now is quick aggro. And then we'll make some more constructed decks like tomorrow and stuff cuz you know tomorrow we'll have the the patch will happen and then I'll be more willing to spend like some wild cards and stuff. Um Uh, I guess the last one, Moon Pie. Yeah, is yeah, really more what real Dooku says is because Runeterra is awesome. All right, anyway, uh, get rid of this and oh, I gotta recall an ally though to play this two drop. So I'll get rid of that. One drop. Mm. Best possible draw. Oh my gosh, this is just the best curve. Wait, am I pumping up the Conspirator like we've been doing this whole time, or do I pump up Zed? So let's see, I attack on turn three. I think I pump up Zed. You'll soon understand my method. <laughs> cool, everybody said Zed. I'll show you how it's done. We march as one, an unstoppable force. An unstoppable force. Alright, let's get the conspirator in play. They're probably thinking like, wait, they just played the mentor and they didn't mentor onto that thing? Like what did they mentor onto? Well they could probably click my deck and see my champions and figure it out. <laughs> you just got a 22-22, they who endure, played against you. Ugh. That's big. All right, we're playing Zed next turn and attacking. Let's go. I am the blade in the darkness. Yeah, so their champions are Draven, Darius, and Hikaram. Ooh, they had the spooky spider to stun my Zed. That's a good card. Zed got stunned. All right, let's see. So I'm going to have four mana. So what do I want to give plus one, plus one to? I could just play Yasuo right now. And then untap and then just go straight to attacks. That's probably the better thing to do. There, I really do like those interactions they have between each other is really cool too. Remember why we fight. So I'm taking nine. Ow, ow, ow. I really wish I had a trick here, but I, I don't have a trick. I really wish I did. Looks like they do. Yeah, I really wish I had a trick. For the Empire. Do. 
I like how they give like this full art. Battling ally strikes a battling ally. Okay, so they're killing Yasuo. Hmm. Well, that hurts. Now whenever I stun their stuff, I, I don't kill their stuff. Hmm. Maybe I should have stunned some, tried to stun something first with Yasuo in play. It's Draven time. Hmm. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. So I'm gonna pump up this highway man so I can get. Um, two, two, threes. The blade, secure the kill. Oh man, that hurts. My friend and I. Are... I just didn't have any interaction in this this game, or at least not the interaction I wanted. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. But yeah, I guess I should have just started with a spider while I had Yasuo. You know, usually, going to combat first is the thing to do, but in this case, it would not have been. I wonder if my opponent would be stunned to see my hand. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm pretty dead. Yeah, the champions still see the things happen even whenever they're not in... Like, you see, like, whenever I stun something six plus, six plus units, like, it can just be in my deck and I'll see it. Face me. Yeah, this is really rough. I think we're losing to the final boss. Gotta chomp these things. Can quell the wind. Yep. That's, that's my plan. Yone and pr Yone and Prey. I guess I could have gone Usari and Prey. With the flyer. I mean, maybe that was a better Prey. Was the flyer. Uh, well, good thing I didn't go with the flyer.
Good thing I didn't go with the flyer. They would have stunned it. What are the chances that they play something here? Not play something here like that. That was really bad for me. But play something here as in before going to combat. No, they did not. They just went straight to combat. Darn. Yeah, no, it's game. So close. So close. This was a great game. This was a great game. Uh, did I do this thing for a good game, I guess? This thing tramples, that's that's the problem, as overwhelm. It's all right, we got our six win. You know, so basically, you know, we lost out on 500 experience with that loss. We already had a, the seven win expedition, so we didn't need the other seven win. Expedition. All right, back to regular playlist. So we got 1,500 XP instead of 2,000. <clears throat> All right, so a seven win and a six win. Let's claim our reward. So we got 3,500 shards because of the seven win. It cost 3,000 shards to enter. So we got, so we're, get our next one free. And a champion capsule. All right, we're getting a champion. Let's see what champion we get. Katarina. All right, we got we got a rare assembly bot. Our other rare upgraded to a rare wild card. And then we got another rare with culling strike. We got a um, epic with Ledros, a great epic that is is being nerfed a little tomorrow, but still another a great epic that would still probably be played. Maybe not. Um, and then, yeah, Katarina. I think, I think that's my first Katarina. So awesome. Whenever you cast a spell, grant me plus one, plus one. Does this thing need to be in play for that? Or is that just... I don't think so, right? Like, that can just be in your hand. Or in your deck. Oh, yes, this does need to be in play. Oh, okay, never mind. Kill a unit. Has to be on the board. Got it. Okay. And so, like, if I wanted to keep on doing expeditions, you can do open play. Where now you can just play them for free. After you play three, three in a week that you pay for and you get prizes, you can keep on playing them for free. but And you get the ton of experience for playing them still. But it's basically like that last trial we did. You don't you don't get any prizes for them. So they're free, but you get a lot of experience. Anyway, we get our reward. We get an epic capsule. So let's see what's in this epic capsule. That sounds epic. We got another champion? And it's a Hakarum. That's a great champion. Man, we've we've got some good stuff today. How do you play for free? Uh, you have to once you play three expeditions in a week, you only get prizes for the first three. Every expedition you do after that, it's just absolutely free, and you just get all the experience that you get for at the end. But you don't get, um, you know, you don't get anything else. But yeah, it's great, great practice and everything like that. All right, Rex, have a good one. Nice, we got another champion and another rare wild card. 
so there we go good day and then and then i'm i'm a, almost i'm almost at the shadow isles champion capsule so we're about to get another champion whenever we get however much more experience here we're gonna get another champion yeah so you you do get to do that you can play for free you know with and get a whole bunch of experience but you have to do three you have to do three expeditions in the week first and then it's open play and then you can see how many seven win open play trials you, this week and you just keep on trying them so that's really cool um <clears throat> all right so there we go a good six win expedition six and one we almost ran another perfect expedition we just lost our last round that would have been pretty epic doing uh two perfect ones back to back um all right so that's uh that's our uh, recall deck you know we, we did something different we you know tried to build the deck around recall and it, it worked really well there with yesuo um so those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there uh, you know, let, leave those comments. Let me know how you're doing and your expeditions and everything like that. All right, but we're going to play a little bit of ranked here for a while. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing up next. All right, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.